Evening. How are we doing, guys? Sorry for the uh, sorry for the delay. It's becoming a bit of a. I'm turning into uh, Axel Rose coming on a bit late all the time. So apologies about that. I was just kind of fanning about with something. So yeah, it's the No Beard Special. <coughs> yes, how are we all doing? I'm absolutely roasting, so I'm going to have to open this window. Give me a wee second. That's better. That's better, how are we? <laughs> you know what? I was, I mean, I've had a beard. Well, if you've, been, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, um, you'll know that I, minute, you'll know that I didn't have a beard until about two years ago. Um, decided to grow it. Quite like the beard, but it was just really annoying me there, so I decided to shave it off, but I'll probably grow it back in again, because I think it, I think a, it makes me look less fat, um, and I just, I just look a bit weird, I think. Especially the fact that I shaved my head as well, so... Anyway, yeah, how are you all doing? Hope you're all keeping well. Evening Robert, evening Colin, evening Aero Dion, evening Panther, evening Mark, evening Michael, and evening ZX. Now you know what? She absolutely hates it. <laughs> I sent her a picture on WhatsApp and she's like, oh my god. So, uh, yeah. I think I'll have to... Uh, it'll be going back on again. It was one of these things, I started shaving it and I thought, I'm just going to take it off. And uh, I'm just like, nah, don't like it, don't like it. Anyway, enough about my beard, but that is why this is a beard special. So what I'm planning to do um, is play some shoot 'em ups uh, on across all platforms. Uh, so anybody got any ones to kick off with? Just give me a shout. Evening, Marcy. Let's uh, hang on, I've got something unstuck to my screen. Marcy Manetti. Manetti. <laughs> I knew, here, here we go, what are you doing, Chris? Yeah, but it's a new me. Nah, don't worry, it's it's going back on again. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, Enforcer, right, what, what uh, system is that on? Is that MAME or is that, uh, is that a PC one? Foundation waste, oh bloody hell, do you really hate me that much? <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, hence the reason it's going back on. So right, what was that what was that first one you said? Enforcer. Is that in MAME, is it? Evening Stephen. Right, let's have a look. Uh, did you tell me if it's in MAME? No, you haven't, so I'm assuming uh, I'm assuming it's going to be in MAME, so just give me a little second. I'm just going to move this across. Thing is, I'm one of these people, I chop and change my look all the time. It's quite funny, I was talking to my girlfriend earlier on, I said, so most people tend to stick. People who have got a beard always keep a beard. People who, you know, people always tend to stick to a... Uh, stick to looking a certain way but I always chop and change I mean I started shaving my head about 20 years ago and I've never looked back even then Adam how you doing buddy um, and like I say I grew a beard two two years ago I think it was and uh, quite liked it but it was just it was really annoying me so I just thought I'm going to get rid of it but having got rid of it it's going back on again so anyway right enforcer <laughs> Yes, right, wait a wee minute. Right, I can't see Enforce, or I can see Enforce. Is it MAME? Do, do, do. I can't see a game called Enforcer. No, I've got Enforce, which looks like a... It looks kind of like... Oh, C64, ah, right, okay, right. Just give me a second. Right, joystick. Uh, uh, uh. Like I said, apologies about being uh, being late. It's turning a bit of a habit for me, actually. Ah. I have a beard at the moment. I had to shave it off recently when I roded the drains and something minging happened. <laughs> I don't think we want to know. Right, C64 Enforcer. Have I heard of that? Have I played it? Right. 
okay, and Forsar, E N. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Is it called that enforcer? Is that the one? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, right, okay. That looks nice. 1992 Full Metal Mega Blaster. Is that the one? That looks interesting. Right, let's go for it. <laughs> Glad to see the smut is alive and kicking. Right, anyway, enough. Let's hang on a wee second. Wait a minute, I'm just going to make myself small again. Come here, you. Do -do -do. Oh, wrong one. Right, okay, C64. Uh, 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 uh. There we are. Right, how's that? How's the uh, how's the the, the the sound balance? Is it okay? Forsar. So this is a fairly, do we want unlimited lives? No we don't. Do we want unlimited bombs? No we don't. Good stuff. Right. Thanks Adam. Want to use Commodore key for level skip? No we don't. Do you want to see the end first? Really? No we don't. I tell you, I was out for that, went out for a run earlier on and I thought it looked nice. It was like really, really sunny and it was bloody Baltic. It was, I think it was about 7 degrees because I was in the car later on. It's absolutely Baltic. Right, okay, never played this before. Joystick settings, controller, Xbox. Sumus loading. Pardon me. I think it's loading, it's doing something. Oh, here we go. Ah, wait a minute, you know what? I actually saw this. Uh, there was a, one of my friends has just uh, got out a video. He's got a, a, new, a new YouTube channel, and I'm sure this was the game that he had in the intro. Wow, this is nice. I mean, this is almost, almost kind of like Mega Drive quality, Amiga quality. Never seen this before, didn't even know this existed actually. So has anybody had a chance to watch the, uh, the Dave Perry interview? I thought I thought he came across as a really really top bloke, he really did. I did listen to the uh, Dominic Diamond interview uh, on the, the Retro Hour. Pretty good. Well, I've got to say um, the questions are bollocks. The, que the stuff he was talking about was the stuff he spoke to me about. I mean, uh, one of the, the comments on the Retro Hour was. Uh, He's never done a, an interview for years. Well, excuse me, uh, I interviewed him two years ago. <laughs> but it was really nice. I thought it was really good to get the other side of that Mario 64. I know Dave did ask me to remove it, but, uh, you know, people have got their own minds made up about Dave. But having spoke to him and, you know, he went into great length about it, I realised that he was kind of, it was pretty unfair the way it kind of ended up. 
That's really good. I'm going to have one more shot of that, actually. Anyone else? Any other games? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my joystick out. Proper joystick. Because a C64 needs a proper joystick. Cheers, Chris. I think I'm seeing Churio to uh, Panther. I think he's already gone. Right, wait a wee minute, wait a wee minute, I'm going to have to come out of this for a second and I'm going to have to go back into this. It wasn't it, that was really impressive. Right, what I'm going to do, uh, joystick settings, retro joystick adapter. And we'll just do the warp thing. <laughs> Come on. Why oh, are you not going to let us out of this? No, we don't. No, 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 no. Right, take the work mode off, and here we go. Ah, oh, bollocks, I'm going to put the work mode back on again because it takes a wee while to actually load. And we're off. If I was going to have any criticism about the game, it's, it could probably do with losing a bit of the background. It's just slightly confusing. But this is really, really nice. Like I said, I've never even heard it. So was this just a free release, or was this one of these ones that you could actually buy? I should say, we'll be playing any shoot 'em ups in the Spectrum. I'm, I'm quite fancy giving our type a go. A lot of folk going about how impressive our type was in the Spectrum. I've seen videos of it, but I've never actually played it. Hi Catherine, how you doing? Ah. Arse. <laughs> Damn it. I was uh, on Facebook earlier on and one of my mates, uh, Steve PVB, some of you may know him, um, he had a video, not a video, he had a picture of my main meister, a bollocks mug. Now that was, <laughs> I'd forgotten all about these basically, I think it was about Oh, was it two, three years ago? Just for a laugh. Um, I, I certainly do, Catherine. Yeah, go for it. Um, just for a laugh, I decided to uh, sell some uh, Main Meister mugs with me uh, saying, ah, bollocks, I've written across it. And all the money that we raised went to charity. But uh, I think I sold about 20 or something. I never even bothered to keep one for myself. Evening, Doug. Right, enough of that. Uh, so it was quite quite good to actually see, see the, the mug. Right, uh, anyone else for anyone else? Uh, some did somebody say, like, we've played Enforcer. Uh, 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 uh. I did see another Plutus. Yeah, why not? We'll play it. All right, Foundation Waste and Atari ST. Right, okay, do we really have to? Yeah, we'll go for it. Wings of Death, right, let's uh, load up my Tar ST thing. Moon Shuttle on the C64. Hmm, never actually heard of that one, Robert. Uh, so was that, was that a simulator or was it a, a shoot 'em up? Oh, you're saying you said they're shoot 'em up. We'll give that a go in a wee minute. 
Right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my Atari ST collection thing, whatever it is. ST. Yeah, it's there. Right. So, what are we going in for first? We're looking for Foundation Wastes, which I remember, if I remember rightly, it looked lovely, but it was a pile of shite. Oh, there we go. Right, Foundation Waste. And the music was apparently by Wally Bebin. <laughs> right, okay, play game. Oh, wait a minute, I'll need to put this joystick back on again. For some reason, Steam doesn't like these old style joysticks. Right, you better be a minute. I need to press pause. <laughs> How is the, how is the sound, I know the Atari ST for some weird reason is always really loud, is that kind of okay? Yeah, I'll give it a go, I mean it's meant to be a sort of shoot em up special Catherine, but I'll certainly give, uh, I'll give Crystal Castles a go, I'm not particularly good at it, in fact that's probably a complete understatement. Yeah, how is the, uh, how is the, the audio, is it, uh, is it okay? Do I need to turn up the, the, the test? Sorry, do I need to turn up the ST volume or lower it a wee bit? If you can let me know. It was a bit louder, uh, that's fine, yeah, I've got to care. Right, okay, this is Foundation Waste. Right, hopefully this is going to work. Oh, wait a minute, I think I've just unpaused it. Look at that flickery movement. <laughs> yeah, man, is it going to move? Oh, there we go. Oh, dearie me. Right, this isn't the game I was thinking it was. It was a game in Atari on the Amiga, actually, that I was thinking this was. But here's the thing, this looks alright. I mean, it certainly it's got nice graphics, it's nice and colourful. What is it about? That's uh, naff. Is it because the scrolling's not great? It's it kind of it's not smooth. Was oh, that a power up? Oh hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, the movement's just a bit pants, I think. Now that was the thing, when I uh, when I sold my Atari, no sorry, when I sold my C64 to get an Atari ST, I was so excited about getting it and then I heard the sound in it and I was just gutted because as far as I was concerned my Atari, uh, my C64 had much much better sound. Ah, oh, bollocks, what is the point of having, it's one of these stupid things where it changes, it changes your uh, controls. Can you put some into reverse? What's the point of that? Ship movement is half frame rate of scroll, drives me nuts. Yeah, well I didn't know that, that's a technical term, but it's just, yeah. It's not really got the right kind of aspect ratio, the ship is way too big. I put a power up and reverse his controls, that is just stupid. 
I'll certainly give Amiga Menace a go. Certainly I will do this even. Just remind me once of uh, can you finish playing this? Yeah, this is shite. Instead of foundation waste, it should be foundation waste of space, I think. It's like a poor man's uh, slap fight. It's just a bit not as good as it could have been. Right, like, don't pick that thing up because it reverses the control, which is just silly. Actually, this reminds me a wee bit like the, the game we've been playing in the main mist of uh, high score for Fuffle Tiger Heli, which is a lot harder than I remember it to be, though somebody commented, I think it was uh, Lewis Vidler, oh, that's just slowed me up, that is stupid. So rather than have power ups, it's power downs that you get in this. Uh, yeah, let's call it Tiger Heli. You can actually change the speed of the ship. Now I think that, possibly when I played it in arcades, it was set to faster movement because it just moves a bit too slow. Right, anyway, that is... I'm not going to say it's shite, but it could be a lot, lot better. Right, next. We'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll jump in uh, and we'll have a quick go of Crystal Castles. Now, this is going to be fun using a joystick. Uh, mm -mm -mm, Crystal Castles. Apparently the guy that, oh, that uh, has a high score world record in this game, he can play it using his foot as well. Yes, right. Uh, 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 uh. What am I looking for? Window capture. Window capture meme. I think oh, it's way too big. Send the bishop to the nun, right? Bink. Uh, I'm not a fan of Crystal Castles, <laughs> I have to say, but I don't mind playing it, you know, for in one of these live streams. Right, let's see if we can get this going. I'll need to change this thing in a wee second. Input general. Uh, up. Alright, okay, that's fine. So it's going to be... Start. Let's set up properly. I don't know why that's not working. Just hang on a second. Right. Start. Why is it not starting? <laughs> don't worry, Catherine. I play lots of games that I hate, but I play them so you guys don't have to. I wouldn't say I hate it, it's just, it's not one of my favourites. Eh, uh, right, let's try again. Right, why is that not, why that, does that not like my joystick? Input this game. Alright, okay, we set to something completely different. One player start, bunk, eh. Uh, coin, that, right, hopefully this is going to work. Come on, why is it not starting? I want a second. I want a second, right. Player won't start, we're doing that. Coin. F1. Right, I don't know what's going on here. Right, we're putting credits in. Right, come on, start. 
Why's it not want to start? I don't know what's going on here. Player one start. Joystick button seven. I'm pressing joystick button seven. I'm going to do button number one. And coin can be three. Right, why is this not wanting to start? There's something going on. I'm doing that. Yeah, I think it's a sign it doesn't want me to play, right? I'm going to try, hang on a second. Right, come back. Is it other options, other controls? Uh, player one, start. I have got no idea why this doesn't want to start. Right, where are you, man? <laughs> right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my other meme. Just give me one little second. Uh, <laughs> right, I'll load up this one, I think. Right, CRY Crystal Castles. Ugh, it's kind of like full screen, that's horrible. Right, just wait a wee minute. Uh, ah, right, okay. Can you see that? Okay, apologies about the scan lines. I know they're not very, not very nice. Right, you can see that. Okay, I think. Right, let's see if we can get this one going. Input this game. Coin one is going to be three, and start is going to be one. Right, and it should be it. Right, right, why is something is going wrong here? Why is this not wanting to start? <laughs> right, you know what? I've just I've just sussed it. Hang on a second, this is going all haywire. Or can we use the mouse possibly? The start button in this is not start, it's actually uh, you have to, what do you call it? It's one of the normal buttons. Right, the controls are all the way to pop for us. <laughs> It's not going too well, right? Hang on, analog controls. How do we do this? Hmm. Input this game. Ah, oh, wait a wee minute. Is there not a joystick version of this? I think there might be. Or maybe not. No, version 3. Right, try once more. Right, I need to change this as well. Right, I think we'll just spend our couple of minutes with this. I don't know what's going on here. Right, coin, uh, start. Player one start is one, coin one is three. Player one, do analog. Right, it looks like it should work. Right, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, <laughs> right, the controls aren't working at all. Sorry, Catherine, I think we're going to have to abandon this. I have no idea what's going on with it. Yeah, don't know. Sorry, Catherine. I think we'll need to uh, scrap that one. I don't know what's going on. I'm absolutely pants when it comes to uh, trying to configure analog controls in meme. Even though I am the meme meister, I'm uh, clueless when it comes to that. Sorry. 
Right, anyway, let's get back to something else that hopefully will work. So did somebody else see anything else? Uh, 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 uh. Right, what was it? Amiga Menace. Let's go for that. So that's going to be, where is it? Amiga, 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 Amiga. I'm going to use this one, I think. <laughs> thank you, Catherine. I don't, God knows why you'd want to subscribe. Um, but anyway, thank you very, very much. Uh, right, what we're looking for. We're looking for that Amiga emulator I just loaded up right here. We go. And what was the game we said? Menace. Menace. There we are. Right, what I need to do is press F12. Vamana. Right, just remind me after this one, Mr. Mark, and we'll have a look. Uh, what we need to do here uh, is jump across. Window capture. What I should really do is have all these little windows set up so that uh, I can just flick between them. That's alright, isn't it? That'll do. That's true, Andrew. I could actually play ST Crystal Castles. Uh, right, let's go for Rookie, I think. Dave Jones, did he not go into... Uh, did he not go into right Lemmings, I think? Or was that somebody else? The music in this, to be fair, is pretty damn good. I'm going to turn up a wee bit of my end. Right, come on. I remember this was the first kind of big uh, big shooter that I ever saw in Amiga it's not the best um, there's much better out there now but I remember seeing this at the time I mean I had great great visuals yeah DM they designed did they not go into they, did they go into do work on Rockstar or Grand Theft Auto I think they did didn't they It's funny, I never really rated this game back at, back in the day, but it's... In fact, was, who was I talking? I think it was Lacosa I was talking to about that. And what's interesting is some games that I thought were absolutely terrible back in the day, when I play them now, they don't seem so bad. It's possibly because I'm not paying any money for them. Um, you know, and the fact that all games now kind of look old, even bad games don't look that bad now, if that makes any sense. How's the, the music balance, by the way? Is it okay? That's pretty good scrolling, isn't it? Thanks, Adam. Kill the blob. Come on, where's power ups? Come on, you must get... I'm sure you get power-ups in this game.
avoid the sperm. <laughs> Am I killing that? Oh, there we go. This must have power up, surely. Because at the bottom it says cannons and then it says lasers. I'm assuming we don't die if we hit these things. Somewhat easier than I remember it to be. It's almost a kiss of death. Scrolling's pretty good for an early. Well, there again, I don't think I've ever seen. I don't think I've seen, apart from Street Fighter on the Amiga, I don't think I've ever seen a bad scrolling game on the Amiga. Or a game with bad scrolling, I should say. Ah, ah you might be right, actually, Adam. Yeah, you, you might be right. You've got to shoot the power ups. I think you might be right. Hey! It's probably the one power up you don't want in these games is power uh, speed ups because you end up just moving too bloody quick. Now we're talking. Right. That thing on top doesn't appear to be doing anything. Ah, arse. I need to shoot that a bit earlier. When you sit the other side of the screen, give you half a chance to actually pick up something decent. I what happened there. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. I did press one of the buttons on the fire on the, the joystick. I have no idea what happened there. Right, that's uh, that's an omen telling us to move on to something else. Bollocks, we're doing quite well here as well. I actually quite enjoyed that. Right, where are we now? Oh, it's so warm in here actually. Right. Uh, evening Paddy, how you doing buddy? Right, what was any other shoot em ups mentioned? I think there were. Was it Vamana or something? I also want to play R-Type in the Spectrum, I want to give that a go. Right, let's say uh, We'll try that Vamana, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Vamana, right, okay. Released in 1991 by Toplan. Mm -hmm. Let me make that a wee bit wee up. You can actually see it. Just want to try something. Uh, fit to screen. Here we go. Right, fit to screen. 
probably have to piss about with the hang on just one second. I'm just going to configure the controls once and for all. Input this game or input general. Uh, player one controls, right? Up, down. Down. Come on. Why is that saying joystick one and two? Down. There we go. Delete. Uh, left. Left. Right. Uh, other controls. Right. Player one start is going to be that, and coin is going to be that. Right, let's rock. How you doing, Steve? Not too bad, buddy. Ah, there's no sound. Right, I don't know why there's no sound. I'm going to be saying, let's see if there's another version. How you doing yourself, Steve? Things okay, mate? Right, don't know why. Uh, don't know why there's no sound. We'll play it anyway. We'll just batter on. Ah, oh, I did say there, this game lacks sound. <laughs> yeah, we're all just hanging in with this lockdown thing at the moment. I suppose I could just make more sound effects. Right, bang, bang. No, maybe not. We'll just we'll just play in silence. I think. Never played this before. I've got to see how light the graphics. Yeah, I've kind of I've started doing these live streams. It's, it's I wouldn't say it's become a tradition, but I enjoy doing them. I always enjoy doing them on a Friday or a Sunday because everybody hates Sunday nights because we're going back to work the next day. Unless of course you're furloughed, which I'm not. So I've actually not had any. Uh, I've not had any time off at all. But to be fair, I would much rather. I assume I should be picking up these little uh, gold things. Yeah, I would much rather be working than uh, not working, if that makes any sense. Nice graphics, though. You do miss having sound and shoot them up, so. Ah, bollocks. One smart myself, is there? Yep, there we go, take that. Yeah, it's nice to see we've got the way off the rodent contingent in this evening. <laughs> And to those of you who are uh, on Yak Yak back in the day, we've also got Robert Morrison, who was Everclear. Well, he still is Everclear, obviously. So it's nice to uh, nice to have some uh, friends from way back. Arse. That's nice. That is really, really nice. Apart from it, no sound. Great, right. What's next? Right, tell you what, when you guys are thinking about another game, I'm going to have a shot of, uh, I'm going to load up, I don't want to do that, I'm going to load up uh, R-Type in the Spectrum, Defender, oh I knew you were going to say that, uh, if I was going to play it I'd need to dig out my Defender stick and give it a go, Ketsui, hmm, let me try, let me try, uh, wait a minute, let me just try this R-Type first, 
Defenders are fantastic game. Right, what we're looking for? We're looking for my game base. Where is it? Super star shoulder. Shoulder soldier, even. Right, better be a minute. I want to jump into Spakey Mania. Thank you very much for everybody that's uh, joined me tonight. It's always really, really, I'm always honoured that anybody would actually want to watch me play some games, right? Arr. Wait a minute, all games, right? There's our type of out. Tell you what I'm going to play. In fact, no, I'm not going to play because I've already made a video of it. It's a, a remake of a C64 classic. But rather than play it here, I'm going to... Uh, I've made a video, so that would kind of negate the point of me putting the video out. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> I'll put the video out tomorrow. Uh, come on, where's our type of out? Our type, there we go. Right, play game. And what I need to do is go, ding, hey, there we go. See, that's what I should do for all my em emulators, have them all set up and ready to rock. Right, you can move over there because you're obscuring my handsome face. <coughs> um, right. I've actually been, I've just started watching Game of Thrones and just, it's just re I've just realised that I look like the eunuch in Game of Thrones, <laughs> which is not a, a compliment at all. Right, how do we start this? Is it space? Because every game on the spectrum is started with space. Enter. There we go. Rewind side two, then press any key. Come on, what do you mean rewind tape? How can I rewind a tape? Is it working? How come Nova Bug never had this problem when he was playing it? Probably because he's not stupid like me. He's better organised. Uh, right, I'm not going to go pissing about not endlessly trying to get this working. <laughs> Ralph Sheepers, I've no idea who he is. <laughs> Should I Google him? Probably not. Uh, right, wait a minute. Right, I'm going to try one more version of this R type. No, we don't actually have that. I'll try it once more and then I'll need to give up. Right, stop the tape. Enter. Right, you know what? I've wasted enough time. <laughs> Thanks very much, Pat. I don't know if that's good or bad, actually. Uh, right, okay, what are we going to do? What are, right, Defender, right, okay. I'm going to go and dig out my Defender stick, which is up here. If you've never seen this bad boy, this was a Mike Hansen special. That only moves up and down, which is what it should be. And you've got all the buttons in the correct space. Absolutely beautiful. A beautiful uh, stick. Right, okay. Let's uh, let's get main loaded up. And defender D E F. Now there's red label and blue label. Now I don't know what the difference is. I think one is more difficult. I need to have the screen fairly large so I can actually. Right, wait a wee minute. Right, 
okay, so what I need to do now is configure it. Or I'll see if it, maybe it is configured. Insert coin, nope, I think it is. Wait a minute. No, it's not right, I'll just configure it. Input this game, right, player one start is going to be that. Uh, hang on, I think what I need to do is I need to come out and meme, I think. And load it up again so it recognises the stick. Yeah, I mean, pff, Defender is just a... It's, it's up there as one of the best video games of all time. I mean, you've got to be... Uh, you've got to be, be sick boy to actually be able to play it properly, but uh, it's a wonderful game. <laughs> Right, wait a minute. Right, I need to configure this in. Right, okay, input this game. Player one start is that. A coin is that. Right, fire is that, thrust is that, smart bomb is that, hyperspace is that, and reverse is that, and then hang on a wee second, I need to do up and down, up, down, right here we go, can you see that okay I think yeah, it looks like that's lined up properly. And I've just come out twat. No worries, Michael. Not been going too long, actually. There'll not be much talking because I need to try and concentrate on this. <laughs> This is not good. <laughs> Instant death.
it's certainly easier with proper controls like I'm using. I mean, it's still absolutely rock hard. Spriggs is, he's one of the best players in the world, but watching these guys playing this game is just absolutely insane. Ah, bollocks. Let's go for one more go, I think. One of these games when you die, you know it's your own fault, you don't blame the controls or anything, it's just your shite. Ah, damn. Right, one more go, honest, and then we'll play Penetrator on the Spectrum, why not? Evening, Alex. Gustavo, how you doing buddy? How's your leg buddy? I hope you're, I hope you're walking. Ah. <laughs> oh, I hope you get better soon buddy. That looked very, very painful. Right, that's Defender. I wish I could have... Uh, showed the game in a better light, but it's rock hard, as everybody knows. So my neighbour doesn't hear me, I'll just close the window a tad. Right, what was next? Uh, oh, me, I'm roasting. Right. Well, I suppose with all the, the COVID stuff, Castardo, it's probably, if you're going to have a, a sore leg, it's probably the, the best time to have it. At least you're not really missing very much, mate. We're all pretty much sitting with our, our legs up at the moment, eh? Uh, right, who have we got in the stream, eh? We've got Castardo, we've got Andrew Clegg, ZX Renew. Anybody else just joined us at all? Um, win some hacks. Michael Davis, yeah, but like as I said, guys, thank you very, very much for, for joining me. Right, what was the next game? Somebody mentioned a Spectrum game, I think it was. Uh, what was the game? How you doing, Lewis? You alright? I like your collection of uh, Saturn uh, game pads or arcade sticks, really, really nice. Right, what was what was the game? Somebody mentioned Tube Panic. Uh, we'll have a evening, Paul. Penetrator, yeah, 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 yeah. I was listening to the uh, Dominic Diamond interview on uh, the Retro, Hour and he was telling, he was saying that was it was Horace uh, Horace goes skiing and Penetrator were his two games. 
was rather appropriate name, a uh, rather appropriate game considering all these double entendres that he made in his lifetime. Right, uh, what are we looking for here? Right, Penetrator, P-E-N. Penetrator, there we go. I'm sure I looked at this and it was a, a video I did on uh, Scramble Games. Oh, that's good, right? Yeah, right, okay. I've just technically I don't no, I don't actually have to turn any of these window things off. So when I load a spectrum game, it automatically appears. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm just getting better at this thing. Right, penetrator. How do we go? You better not mention horoscope skiing, eh? Or else I'll get a strike, a copyright strike. <laughs> right, number of players. Uh, right, one player. Right, hopefully it's going to be the joystick because if it's not, then I'm going to be absolutely fish. Evening, Milfy, how you doing, buddy? Wait a minute, how do we... Ah, okay, right, you've got to, right, you've got to do it to the right to shoot, which is a bit bizarre. And I don't like that, you've got to press it to the right. I didn't actually realise this was out in the, the C64, I might have a wee shot of it. Yeah, that's the only thing, you've got to push the joystick to the right, you've got to keep pressing it to the right to fire, which is a bit of a bizarre concept. So coming from the States, Robert, were you a C64 man back in the day, or were you an Atari man? But what was, was Atari, eh... Uh, was Atari, I think Atari was bigger than the C64, wasn't it? Certainly in the early days, I think, yeah. The sad thing was, the Atari really wasn't that popular in the UK. I think the price was a big, had a big part to play in it. I mean, it was ridiculously expensive. And of course, the Spectrum came along and was selling it, it was like... £199 or something, no sorry, it was under £100 and that just completely changed everything. Is that 10 to 9? can't believe that, blimey. Probably go till, I don't know, quarter past nine, something like that, you think? I was about half an hour late enough. I was actually trying to mess about with a... I was trying to get a wee intro that I could play at the start of the live stream, so I just need to figure out how to actually... Ha <laughs> ha! Bollocks! Right, that's not bad. Right, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to check out the C64 version. Picker, pen, penetrator, there we go, Melbourne House. Ah, oh, I think I've played this. I'm sure I've played this. Yeah, I did. I did do a, a scramble special, whatever you want to call it. Right, settings, joysticks. Uh, oh, wait a minute, retro joystick adapter. Yeah, we'll play with that. If we can.
<laughs> right, what's happening now? Is it loading or not? It's cold here as well. I was out with the dogs earlier on and I, um, I thought, oh, it's nice and sunny. I'll just put a wee thin jacket on. It was bloody Baltic. Right, I don't know what's going on here. That's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the... Uh, I'll try the original tape. You know what? I actually saw somebody post on Facebook that uh, apparently it was, it was snowing earlier on. That wouldn't surprise me. You quite literally do get four seasons in one day up here in Jockland. Yeah, I think we'll put the warp mode on just to speed things along a wee bit. Yep, that's exactly it. You don't like the weather, just wait a wee bit. Right, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, swap joysticks, possibly? No, that's not working. Joystick settings, why is that not working? And I'll just try uh, controller Xbox and then I'll swap it back again. Right, this time, come on. Why is that not working? Uh, swap joysticks. Right, you know what? I think because I've got. I think because I've got this retro joystick plugged in, that's kind of upsetting it a wee bit. Right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out and then I'm going to load it back up again. Belgium had a tornado today. Bloody hell. Hope, hope everybody's okay. Right, where are we? Uh, we're going to do warp mode, I think. Oh, wait a minute, I've just loaded that damn disc version again. Sorry, guys, just bear with me. Okay, we'll try original disc. There we go. Original disc, and then we'll put the joystick in again. Like so. Hi Dave, how you doing buddy? I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, I didn't realise it was going to be quite so echoey. Um, it was only after I finished recording it that I noticed uh, Dave's voice was really echoey. But I think it, you can still hear it. But I thought he certainly is a really, really nice guy. Um, I had my own opinions about him. You know, based on just what I'd read, etc. Um, but he couldn't have been a nicer guy. He really couldn't have. I mean, he said to me, an hour, uh, and it went on for two hours. Yeah, you end up having to say to me, look, I need to go. <laughs> That's what you call a loading screen and a half, eh? Eh, what? I've got that set. That's okay. Right, work mode off, and hopefully... Come on, how do you start the damn game? Yeah, he was, and I completely understand what he was trying to do. You know, he was just trying to make a, a career for himself and trying to get kind of games better known, but, you know. Right, hang on. Swap the joystick. How do you start this game? <laughs> right, still not working. Wait a minute. Swap joystick. Ah, 
Right, you've got to press. There we go. I do remember this actually. It's actually quite nice. A bit of graphical glitching going on there. Certainly easier than the Spectrum one because you don't have to press the, the joystick to the uh, to the right. Thanks, Bart. It's always good fun talking to people. It really is. Ah. Never ever played this back in the day though, and it's actually pretty good. Yeah, the music's not bad. Oh, what happened there? It kind of lends itself pretty well to the actual game you're playing. Ah. <laughs> oh, really? How, how, you get, how far are you getting on then, Dave, with, with China Miner? You'll need to stick a video out because I'm sure you're doing better than me. No, it's Mr. Low I'm uh, not happy with. He was the one that specifically asked me to do the challenge and then he's not take part. If you're watching this, Andy, start playing it. <laughs> do you ever play PS or PS2 stuff? Uh, you know what? I don't really play. I don't even have my PlayStation 1 plugged in. I do have my PlayStation 2 plugged in, but I've got to admit, but the only game that I think actually playing it is Gradius 5 which is an absolute stonking game amazing game right that's nice uh, right what's next any shoot em ups you want to see me play make an arse of myself playing I'm just trying to see if there's any ones that we missed there probably were right, we've played Penetrator Tube Panic and Meme right we'll give it a go you can finish it seriously. You and that's without cheating. Wow. <laughs> take I've got to take take my hat off to you, uh, Dave. That is awesome. Sinister. You know what? Sinister's not a game that I've uh, Yeah, Gradius Five looks like a current gen game. It just looks it's like they've taken it's like it's they're able to make the resolution look a lot better. It's just an absolutely amazing game. Uh, sorry, what are we talking about here? Sinister. That's one of these Williams games I've never really, never really liked. Don't know. I don't know why. Don't know why. But we'll give it a go. I'll tell you what, let's play. What was it? Tube Panic. Tube Panic. Ah, that's not what I thought it was. Oh, I'm going to have to fanny about with the controls again, aren't I? Wow, <laughs> this is mental. No, I can safely see I've never played this. My goodness, it's always like a, it's like virtual reality. Do not adjust your TV, uh, TV screens. That's pretty mental. This is a bit polybius, I think. Polybius meets a uh, tempest. Right, you know what? It's just made me want to play another game, and that is a uh, gyrus. Awesome game. 
This is pretty funky though. I think it's one of these games, it's safe to say that they've tried to do something that's pretty revolutionary, but the hardware wasn't quite up to sort of speed. It wasn't quite capable of really pulling it off. I mean, it's a nice attempt. It's uh, I like the kind of blue surround effect. Dock with the mothership. Balls. <laughs> um, yeah, it's obviously kind of sprite. Move that mouse cursor out the road. But it's a nice game. I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be shooting here. It's a bit kinny. Graphics are a bit kind of, bit kind of blurred looking, but that's that's nice. I mean, I'm assuming that's when did that come out? 1984. Yeah, yeah, pretty trippy. I think that's uh, I think that's about uh, the best way to describe that one. Yeah, they certainly have, Dave. Uh, I was just getting uh, the beard was annoying me. I mean, I've had it for two years, um, and I will be growing it back again. I, I shaved it off this afternoon, and I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> I look like uh, Matt Lucas, so yeah, that's not a good look. Right, what was right before? I'm going to I'm going to put this on, and it's uh, Polybius is a nice game. It's a nice, nice game. Astro Blaster on the BBC. I think I, that was one of the ones that uh, I did actually look at. I did do a blame. It's only with uh, Richard Broadhurst. He's a really nice guy. Right. Remind me to play that one in a minute. I want to play Gyrus before we go. No, oh, wait a minute. What will that do? Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just keep the... We'll keep the... Uh... <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry, Edwin. Um, I'm well used to it. Yeah, I showed my... I sent a picture uh, of it to my girlfriend and she's like, oh my God. So uh, yeah, I think the, the beard is going to go back on again. Right. Ah, oh, balls, let me configure this thing again. Hang on a second. Input this game. Joystick button. Uh, coin one. Oh, that should just work. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. Okay. feel incredibly inferior when I'm playing this with uh, Charlie Farr in the stream, uh, Dave, because Dave is just like one of the best video game players I'm ever, ever going to witness. And he's watching me playing and I'm just piss poor. <laughs> it's all about the taking part though, isn't it? play this because it's worth it just so I can use the uh, one warp to Uranus gag. That never gets boring. So Dave, is there any top tips for this game? Should you keep moving or should you kind of just stand still? No, man, I'm just going to try and move the... Uh... Ah, bollocks, I've just clicked out of the main thing. <laughs> ah, 
Ah, so were you watching the channel back in uh, 2014, but that's mental to think how long ago that was. What's that? Sorry, I'm trying to learn the patterns. Ah, I guess so. This is one of these games, though it's worth it just for the music. Yeah, that mouse pointer is annoying, I'm trying to shoot it. The only time I saw this in the it wasn't it wasn't in the arcades, it was in Waverley Station in Edinburgh, the train station. Right, move. Try to look at the uh, ah, balls, don't stop clicking out of the, the window. Every time I click to look at the uh, the comments, it takes me to the main window and the, the controller stops responding. Ah, damn it. Whoa! Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the meme across like so. Ah! Arse! <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, is this a challenging stage? It is, I need to pay attention. I am sincerely hoping I can reach Uranus, Erwin, yes. Or have I gone past it? Maybe I have. I don't if I have, I don't believe I missed the gag. Yes, Catherine's saying, one warp to Uranus, you men never grow up, do you? <laughs> never gets dull, that one. Um, nice game. Was there a version of this in the C64? Yeah, it was, and it was a really, really good version. Right, next. How are we doing for time? Well, I said quarter past right. We'll go until half past nine, I think, because I've got, uh, I've got school in the morning. So, right. We've probably got time for about another three games. Uh, anybody? I'm just 
can you see? Can you still actually see me or is it getting too dark? No, you can just about make up. Just trying to think, I should maybe indulge myself in a game. Ketsui, what is that on there, uh, Andrew? Is that is that in MAME? I've got a uh, obviously got the Mega Drive SNES. I don't think there was any real good shoe mobs in the SNES though. Was it Axley, I think it was? I was never really a big fan of that. Uh, PC Engine, some great games in the PC Engine. It is, it is a lot lighter, yeah, but I just, I uh, don't know, I just look, I look a lot fatter with it. <laughs> That's a good thing, a bit of double chin going on as well, so yeah, beards certainly hide a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, flaws. So hopefully when I get back running, I'll lose a bit of weight. Um, right, what am I looking for? Ketsui. Ke, Ke, where is it? Why can't I find it? Ketsui. That's bizarre, why can't I? I'll just type it up here. I don't have any game called Ketsui. No. Now I've got the complete the complete uh, Galaxian. Now I'm gonna tell you an interesting fact, Galax uh, Catherine. Charlie Farr, who is in the stream, he holds the world record at Galaxian. Is it what is it, Dave? You've got two million, I think it is. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play Galaxian just to show how pish I am at it and you know <laughs> uh It'll just make you appreciate how good how good Dave is at, is at it. Right, Galaxian. Just over two million. That is just mental. Now there is a video of uh, Dave playing it. I think it was in your kitchen, that was about maybe three, four years ago. Right, Galaxian. I'm running bro. It's MAME.127. It we came out in 2008. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's kind of got virtually every game that I think I would ever play. Um, although, if you're saying... Uh, <laughs> not at all, Dave. If you're saying, what do you call it, there's still shoot 'em ups getting added to it. I wouldn't even know where to download the latest MAME. And I've not got a particularly powerful PC either, so I don't really want to... I do know that kind of some of the more modern uh, memes they actually perform worst. Now wait a minute, right? Hang on, I might be. No, I'm not talking shit. Hang on, Galaxy, and where is it? Galaxian. Is there a particular version I should play, Dave? Namco set one. Go for that. Yeah, I think my base is about twelve thousand, so uh, not quite. Not quite on a par with uh, with Mr. Far, I'm afraid. When I played this back in the day, I simply could not get off level one. It just seemed like the most, um, the most impossible arcade game ever. Yeah, it was the very, very first arcade game I played in Mame as well, and I don't think I had any sound, and I, I almost died with excitement. It was just incredible to have this game running on my PC.
<laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I can just see Dave looking now going, bloody hell, he is shit. But to be fair, it is a really difficult arcade game. Quite as good as Dave's uh, two million, but anyway. <laughs> right, how are we doing? Right, we've got ten more minutes. Uh, what's next? <clears throat> Did somebody mention any other game? Uh, <clears throat> Now somebody did uh, somebody did mention Pro Gear. Ah, somebody did mention a PC Engine game. Pro Gear. Ah yes. Well, give this a go. This looks a bit like, you know what? Boot Hill is one of these games. It doesn't really play. Uh, it doesn't really play that well in main because I think you need. It did have a. It was a kind of like a. Was it a spinner and a kind of joystick or something? I can't remember exactly what it was. Right, we'll play this, and then we'll play a couple of games in the PC Engine, then we'll finish with two games off, uh, excuse me, we'll finish with two games off uh, China Miner, because it's a law. Does that look okay? Hopefully it does. I don't know how this is going to play. It looks like it's going to be a bit uh, jerky, maybe not. Well, I'll just go for the, the standard one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I, I have played this. Yeah, I did. Ah, it's kind of like a horizontal. It's a horizontal uh, dodon patch, isn't it? Whoops. Bloody hell. Blame me. <laughs> Doesn't let up at all, does it? It is rather delicious looking, though, isn't it? the boards wasn't it? That is nice. 
That is really, really nice. That, what was that? That was Pro Gear. Yeah, nice one. Right, let's play a couple of PC Engine games and then we'll finish off with China Miner. Uh, so is anybody going to be buying the uh, PC Engine Mini? I always think it's a bit bizarre that they've brought, a P brought, they've brought out a PC Engine Mini when you consider the actual original PC Engine is tiny anyway. I probably will buy one, although I do have a, a normal PC Engine Plus. I've got the PC Engine Duo, which is the, the PC one. Right, what was the two games? Gunhead, was it? Gunhead, right, we'll play this one first. Don't think I've ever actually played a PC Engine game in a live stream. Don't know why. Right, window capture. Uh, that needs to be... I did, yes. Thankfully, uh, my mate Gadget UK fixed it for me, which was really, really nice of him. He completely recapped it, so it's like as good as new. I've got to say, I love my snaze mind. I've actually got it plugged in to my TV upstairs in the bedroom. So usually, just before I go to my bed, I'll, I'll have a game of. Uh, Something. The only thing that annoys me about it is you can I've got one of these wireless, uh, what do you call it? Wireless controllers, a commander or something I think it's called. But you can't, uh, you can't, what do you call it, reset it. You've got to actually get your bed to reset it, which is a bit of a pain. Which is way too much hassle. What are you saying, Erwin? I have two PC engines all, uh, already in Mister. Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't need a PC Engine, but uh, I'll probably still end up buying one anyway. Can you imagine owning a PC Engine back in the day? I mean, it's just, it's insane how good it is. It's actually probably my uh, favourite 16-bit console. I know some people say it's 8-bit, some people say it's 16-bit, but I prefer, I do prefer if I was to pick either a SNES, Mega Drive or PC Engine, I would go for the PC Engine. I just, it's a stupid thing to say, but I love the whole Japanese-ness. <laughs> it's so Japanese, there's so many games that are purely just Japanese games, and I just think it's a, it's a really, really nice console. I do love the SNES and Mega Drive, I must admit as well, but I've got a soft spot for my PC engine. That's exactly it, Andrew. I mean, it's it's got some amazing shoot 'em ups on it. I mean, it's got like a an arcade perfect of, uh, an arcade perfect of, what do you call it, uh, R-Type. Ah, I've just noticed it's got all fire. I mean, even the sound in this is just epic. I don't know what kind of sound chip it has, but... Right, was there one more? 
Was there one more game we're going to play in this, and then we're going to play uh, China Miner? I can't remember what it was. I think there was another uh, PC Engine game that somebody mentioned. We'll give that a go. Soldier Blade, that was the one. Give that a go. I like the music in this as well, especially the kind of tom tom drums. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> Back to square one again, arse. Doesn't take long to kind of get yourself powered back up again. Right, I think when I die, I'm just conscious of the time. It's now half past nine. Yeah, I think we all would have, Davey. I mean, that would have just been amazing. We could only stare at the scene VG pages and wish we had rich parents. Back then, you had no income to speak of, so you're never going to get one. It's probably the one machine that I've been so excited about actually getting to own, even though I had played, played it, you know, I mean, there's been some cracking emulators out for the PC Engine. Even, you know, 20 years ago, I was playing emulators on it, but there's something nice about actually owning the, the machine itself. Right, listen, that's excellent. We'll give, uh, we'll try that Soldier 1, what was it called again? Ah, an X68 68,000, yeah, that would have been nice, eh? I like hen's teeth, unfortunately. Right, Soldier something or another. Uh, soldier, Soldier Blade, yeah, oh, that looks nice. Evening, Neil. The beard has gone, I don't know what happened. I woke up this morning, mate, and somebody's nicked it. So I'm going to have to grow another one. And uh, needless to say, Lee doesn't like the look. <laughs> As I said, I look like Matt Lucas out of shooting stars, so uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's the game they all remember, Paul. R-Type, it just looked absolutely amazing. Two-minute game? Yeah, we'll have a couple of goes of that then. Oh. Five minute game. Yeah, we'll play for five minutes if and uh, uh, if indeed that actually lasts that length of time. Where have you, man? I want to see. Can I make this screen bigger? Nah, it looks like I can't. I think did it also not? Did it also not a uh, scroll? R type on the SNES because it didn't have not on the SNES on the Mega Drive on the PC Engine I think because it I think the resolution was slightly different so I had to kind of scroll. Wow, this is a pretty looking game, eh? Oh, it's quite hard to actually see these orange bullets. Blimey. I'll definitely need to play this tomorrow night on my PC Engine on my big uh, CRT telly. There's a lot going on, that's the only thing I'm kind of finding it hard to actually play. I mean, that was hard, that wasn't five minutes. <laughs> Evening, Mr. Sterner. A 
there's so much going on and there's so much colour that it's actually quite difficult to to kind of see the bullets. That is really impressive though, I've got to say. <laughs> Damn it. Right, listen, we'll, 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 in fact, we'll probably just make it one game off the usual, which is China Minor. Now, Dave tells me he's almost completed this, which is unbelievable. It is just a wicked, wicked game. God, it's getting dark, isn't it? Right, I think, yeah, we'll have one game of this and then we'll draw it to a close before uh, I completely disappear into the darkness. looking for it China where is it where is it where is it China minor there we go and a bit of warp get the things moving along Yeah, I'm the same, Milfy. Uh, as much as, you know, fancy background graphics make games look nice, it just kind of, it makes it more difficult than it has to be, I think. And that was the big thing for me with uh, Jeff Minter's, uh, what do you call it? Spa Space Giraffe? Space Giraffe. Amazing game, but he just had so much stuff going on in the background, and that, for me, that just made it really difficult. Right, high score. Oh, wait a minute, I need to take the speed off. Warp mode. Right, okay, this is the very, very last game. I'll have one game. Oh, Fort Apocalypse. Man, if it had been earlier on, Neil, I would absolutely have played that. I love that. <laughs> Cheers, Andrew, yeah. I am pish. I wouldn't use me as a yardstick. Just want to uh, bid good night to uh, Lacosa. <laughs> Come on, get up there. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, bollocks. I think that's the first time I've ever died at that bit. Oh, no. <laughs> Bloody hell. What? Ah, balls. 
Or maybe need to dedicate an entire live stream to trying to get off level four at some point. Whoops. Right, Dave, have you got any tips? What's the timing with this bit? Because this is always purely uh, just luck for me. Is there any kind of tips you can give me with this level, this wee bit here? Let's just go for it then, I think, yeah. No, oh, arse. <laughs> oh, balls. Right, let's have one more game and then we're going to call it a day. And I forgot to move. Ah, that was lucky. meter has passed go exactly in between the laser pulses right so my first opportunity in other words right I should have paused there for a second eh? doing? Try to rush it. That was silly. tonight guys
<laughs> now we sell it. Oh. Right, listen guys, that was pish, 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 pish. Right, listen, thank you very, very much. You can just about see me. Thanks to everybody for uh, joining me tonight. I always enjoy making these, and it wouldn't be the same unless you guys were here with me. So, listen, have a good night, guys. Have a good sleep. Have a nice uh, week, and I'll see you again. And as always, guys, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. See ya.